factor here, too, which Mises pointed out years ago, namely, very rich people tend to be in favor of progressive income tax. You wouldn't think of that. But very rich people essentially live off inheritance, off, off inherited wealth. They don't, want, they don't like new upstarts coming up with labor income, which is what Milken's income was, of course. It was a percentage of commission of income he got for the firm. So you have a, you have a war between the old-fashioned inherited wealth and people coming up on the outside, fast on the outside, doing better things. Actually, the whole Milken point was the it was made possible by the Williams Act, the Farious Williams Act in 1967, when the corporate elites were being being hit by takeover bids, so that people could get stockholders together and offer them higher money than they're more money they're getting now per share. It was outlawed by the Williams Act, and the Williams Act cracked down on takeover bids and ordered before, as soon as you amass five percent of any corporate stock, you have to go public, you have to announce it, and announce your intention to have an eventual takeover and wait. Certain number, certain time period to do it. This, of course, meant sort of opportunities for arbitrage and, and all the rest of it. And, the, and what Milken did was a tremendous financial innovator to get around by takeover, by, by leverage bias, get around and so called junk bonds to get around this prohibition. Uh, the Williams Act was passed by the beloved Senator Williams, who was then beloved, not now. Uh, the the so called education senator is always filling a congressional record with pleas for more money to more government money education. We got caught on the AMP scam affair, got tossed under the Hooskow, uh, Senator Williams. And uh, the, uh, the takeover and the, the financing of these bids by, by high yield, but really, it really should be called high yield bonds. They're called junk bonds by the competitors, whose bonds should be called low yield bonds. Okay? <laughs> you want to be technical. <clears throat> Obviously, a higher yield bond would be riskier, man. Everybody knows that. <clears throat> At any rate, the bankers who were floating low yield bonds, of course, didn't like the fact that Milken was competing with them and very successfully. So you have these various interests trying to crush their competition and using the government to do it and using phony moral arguments to try to do it and apparently fairly successfully at this point.